care how you feel about his play style. He will, he will set up a tent. He will find like a nice little creek to put his tent next to, and he'll fry up some like, maybe maybe a couple hot dogs, you know, something nice for seven. Some cooked Metroids or something. I don't Eggs. Know. Whatever Samus eats. Oh, it's too gel texture, man. It's nasty. All right, so starting off. Uh, a rare dash attack from Mr. Chantal. I'm not used to him moving in that quickly. Well, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to try to camp out uh, Captain Falcon. Yeah, Falcon is known to be a zone breaker. Okay, because he's just going to get right in, sure. right to uh, Mr. Untouchable's face. But Mr. Untouchable does have a bit of a uh, like defensive offense, I'd mm. say. You know, like waiting for him to approach and then being able to punish off that. It's a weird kind of pressure where it breaks you from sheer frustration until you keep doing stupider and stupider things. Mr. H is kind of being a little bit calmer, but he's still taking a lot, just eating straight shots. Yeah, but he did have uh, built quite a bit of damage. Even with these uh, bombs, a little bit difficult for uh, Mr. H to traverse around. This is what wow. <laughs> he grabbed him right off the platform. And wow. I think he grabbed him out of his jump or something. He must have. So that's not a good look for Mr. H to start off this game one. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if Mr. H is this ahead, he will still. Just hold on to this. Oh, he what did you see how much damage they did? Jesus. Hello? Alright, I mean, like, honestly, like, Mr. H isn't really letting Mr. Untouchable camp, but Mr. Untouchable's, like, kind of fine with that. He's zoning him out, but he's building a massive amount of damage whenever That's he can. That's the kind of stuff Mr. H needs to start doing. He needs to start getting in with jabs, staying on him, not letting advantage go too far off into where he has to reset neutral. Attack and getting dash attack. Oh, catching him off guard with that Falcon kick. Got a landing situation. Catching him with the down smash. You almost want to just keep throwing him off and racking up damage that way. Just, he's so defensively solid, it's hard, hard to just get a straight back air or something like that off on him. Yeah. Just gotta watch his landing here. Oh, Ooh. whoa! Catching him with the extension of the. Uh, the Raptor boost there, right at the end. One way to nuke a roll. Especially a roll like Samus is so slow, the Raptor boost can just kind of follow it. Oddly shooting a charge attack, or maybe he was trying to read a jump. Yeah, but uh, Mr. H, like, playing patient, waiting for that uh, charge shot option. There's one way when the full defensive doesn't work, is Falcon can murder you off one or two good punishes, so. Yeah, I mean, already he's built up 51%. Oh, Not back. again, not yeah. again. Okay. He did have this jump this time, so. Right. Nice power shield staying on him. You almost have to power shield Mr. Untouchable stuff because otherwise oh. you caught the missed tech, but uh, are you? Oh! And the spike to finish it off. He brought, almost brought that all the way back off a huge deficit. Though. Yeah, he did. Um, definitely was starting to build up some momentum there, but Mr. Untouchable living up to his name and getting the last uh, last it's hit there. Such a painfully fitting tag. <laughs> Seeing the jigs. He's thinking about that. I mean, that, that's up to him. I, I have no input on this decision. But, uh, I mean, if he's going jigs, maybe he thinks the maneuverability can take him over. He can get a couple of jumps. Samus is incredibly hard to get for Rage Guard. Yeah. I, I'm not I'm not quite sure like how well Jigglypuff can avoid Samus's options, too. Like, her strong hitboxes like back air, control air, and charge shot. I mean, I feel Especially like if she eats a chuck I just thought of it. If she eats a shield break off of a bomb or a charge <laughs> shot. That's a stock anyway. Yeah. But we're not going to be seeing that. We're going to be seeing the Captain Falcon again. Three, two, one, what do you think, uh, Mr. Reason needs to do to start closing this gap and keep this gap closed? Well, I feel like uh, he needs to get more off of his hits, like get a bigger conversion. Because right now, like he's approaching Mr. Untouchable, and like he gets hits in here and there, but. Uh, Mr. Untouchable is getting way more off of those failed approaches. He can't there. afford a nickel and diamond like he's been doing. Yeah, exactly. Because even though Mr. Untouchable has been playing somewhat passively, he's still been converting all of his hits right. into something. Always. Uh, one thing that concerns me, I know Town and City is a good stage for Captain Falcon, but Samus, one screw attack can put him clean off the top anyway. Plus, he's still got a lot of space to work with. Yeah, I haven't really seen much screw attack out of Mr. Untouchable. He kind of saves that one in his back pocket. Oh my goodness, that Zara puts you in such a scary position for the uh, charge shot. Her F tilt too, it'll put you in a tech situation. She could clean you straight out with a charge shot. Yeah, not only that, but there's also the potential for the uh, the untechable spin. I don't want to wow. talk. What just happened there? Oh, looking for an up air on him on that one. 
Yeah, Braves before. Falcon, he could put her off with a couple hits. Oh, but catch there the it is. Even on Town and City, a good DI is going to save him. Oh, but the deceptively large hit of that charge shot. Yeah, he can catch it with the toes if he shoots underneath the platform. Uh, here's the worst part of any set with Mr. Untouchable is trying to chase him down when he has a lead. All right, but right now he's ca caught him in the corner, so he doesn't really need to chase him down too much. Nice. That's, one, that's what he needs. He needs to keep him held at this, this, this disadvantageous state. The screw attack so great at breaking her out. Yeah, got Mr. Untouchable back on the stage and back into his game. I like how Untouchable will sometimes blow a half shard shot just to keep himself in space in a little bit of percent. Yeah, oh wow. Nice catch. Yeah, way up there. I like seeing that more and more incorporated by Captain Falcons is utilizing that uh, that up beat as a grab. In this set specifically because Mr. Untouchable will go high a lot just to get his, uh, his space back. Oh, nice back air, all right. I yep. said it. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it, it happens, doesn't it? You can't avoid it. it just, there's a lot of nice back airs. It was. It, I was actually going to comment on how he almost got a nice back air drifting down, but... He's building up the... Oh, that was... Don't like that option. I know he's trying... Getting a little bit desperate to work his way in. Yeah, trying to, like, throw, like, Mr. Untouchable off with that kind of option, but... Like dash attack? Can't get anything off of it. Heavy and floating. So weird. Yeah, definitely an off. There you go. Nice conversions. Yeah, Sam is definitely having trouble landing against this character. He might want to even try for an upbeat if he catches a landing on a platform. Oh, roll in. Yeah, but that non-fully charged uh, shot isn't going to kill him. Ooh, Interesting. Oh. Got him out of that. Yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't a bad idea. And Very melee-esque. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you an extra jump doing that. Oh, Ooh. looking for that. That probably would have finished it, too. Town and city yeah, with this much rage. Oh, no. yep. yeah. I, I like that because like he could have like tried to commit to a smash attack, but you still have drift landing when you're mm -hmm. uh, coming down from that. So that covered pretty much. I all have missed options. so many punches on Samus just watching her drift out of my attack. I yeah, and she's got it. So good stuff to uh, Mr. H, keeping it like held together, utilizing that rage to make a comeback. What are we gonna see for stage? Back, running it back. I guess Mr. H didn't didn't ban it because he felt pretty good on it, even if it was kind of a close set. He used a half charge shot to stop his momentum, so he can get a little bit something else in. Yeah. Nice screw attack. Yeah, I feel like uh, this sort of touch was gonna be a little bit more reserved with those screw attacks, at least at kill percent. Yeah, he knew he had it. He just got a little bit too antsy, got a little bit too uh, pressured. Mr. H is keeping it up really nice, though. Yeah, he's definitely kind of learned a thing or two about how to, like, just stay into, in Samus' zone. He needs to break his rhythm. If you run straight in, it's easy to catch, but if he maybe runs in, stops, does a Falcon Kick, run in, stops, blocks, break the rhythm up. Yeah, so now it's kind of on Mr. Untouchable to mix things up in this game, game three. He's running a lot closer with the adaptations at nearly even percents right now. Nice dash tag under this air. Right. Stall for time. Yeah. Kind of trying to stall momentum too, just like make him think about kind of lose that mojo that he just had. This is a Falcon. We may well nice to avoiding the spike and getting some percent for it. That's the kind of stuff you need when you got someone hitting you really hard. You need to discourage them with damage, or at least another shark shot there. Wow, I like the high option, but he still got covered by the uh, neutral air. You see that Nair kicked him through the, the, the yeah, stage. Yeah, Samus's legs are long, dude. Right. Yeah, we're not going to see him go for a stomp here. Oh, getting the weak hit of the back air, not what Mr. H wants, but... Bitten a little bit. Gave up stage control for that edge guard attempt. Going for the Raptor boost again, trying to catch the landing this time. Oh, and only going to get punished with the forward tilt. He really needs to keep her off stage because she can't charge her shot while she's in the air. Yeah, that's definitely a big thing in this matchup. Great enough tilt on shield. Ooh! Waited for the roll, jumped in front of him, and back air him off. Oh, oh it just landed right on top of him to get that back air. The eye for an eye stock. I hate those. You think you're safe, and then you just need a kill move right when you come back. They come back. Well, I like uh, Mr. Untouchable's mix-ups with those morph ball bombs. Yeah, he's doing a lot better using his movement to uh, keep from just getting shot every two seconds. Yeah, it kind of creates like a little bit of a 
wall or hazard for Captain Falcon to try to get through. This actually turned out to be a pretty good set yeah, to open the curtain up. Yeah, definitely a competitive set. After game one, kind of like solidly in Mr. Untouchable's favor, Mr. H has made the like adaptations. Ball threw up there, couldn't get a conversion off of it. Mr. Untouchable is so good at changing his momentum and avoiding. Yeah, it's, it's really like thrown, uh, thrown him for a loop. Both getting a little bit nervous to take anything right now. Yeah, this is definitely that kind of high tense situation where both players are playing very carefully. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, I think maybe if you went for one less up there, he could have caught it. It's a little hard to convert in that situation, but it did build up a lot of damage, so he has the lead here. Dash attack? Not going for the up air off conversion, just wants to get some more shot. Yeah, Mr. Untouchable hasn't really been uh, able to catch Mr. H's landings in, these la in this latter part of the match here. This is what he's doing, he's keeping them off stage. Not letting him get his feet on the ground. Holy way. Oh, oh he, he needs this charge shot, like, set up because... Oh, he fell onto it. Yeah, he didn't oh, have no. too many options there. But uh, Mr. Untouchable definitely needs this charge shot, uh, just because he covers so many options, and also... Oh, oh we caught him with the screw attack. I said earlier like he was going to play a bit more reserved with that screw attack. We didn't see it much at all in that game three, and he waited for the perfect moment for Saved it. Saved it to end the game.